What's up guys and welcome back for some more Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So in the last episode, we got our 5th gym badge and uh, in this episode, we're gonna go and actually get a Manectite because one of you guys told me that I can actually get a Manectite by going to Cycling Road. So I'm gonna go there and just get this and uh, if you guys are enjoying this let's play then please make sure to leave a like. It really does help me a lot and uh, there is this Manectite which we got. Now uh, we can actually go to route 118 and then proceed because we do have surf and uh, once we get the mega bracelet we'll be able to mega evolve our uh, manectric into mega manectric so that's pretty cool and uh, before I actually go I will be changing my mock bike to acro bike because uh, I don't know I'm not liking mock bike it's it's fast but uh, I like acro bike much more so I'm gonna switch my bikes and uh, got this bike and I actually heard that you can have two bikes at the same time after beating the game. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go to Route 118 because we do have Surf. And uh, where the hell is the exit? I think it's here. Yep. And uh, I already beat all of these trainers, so we can just go. And uh, there's actually an item there's a Stardust which we can sell and uh, we can finally use surf and uh, just cross this and if you actually talk to this guy he'll give you good rod which is pretty good oh wow and uh, you can actually find uh, much uh, better Pokemon if you fish so yeah and uh, you can go here and because oh there is Steven right there and uh, looks like he does remember us. What is he talking about? Like, suddenly? Is it Latios? Yep, it's a Latios. And uh, looks like you can catch our Latios in this part of this game, it seems like. It wants to take us somewhere. This is a new place, it seems like. Okay. Alright, so where do we have to go? Can I surf? It doesn't seem like. Alright, so there is nothing uh, we have to see. There is a Latias? Oh wow. And uh, there are these uh, Team Aqua Grunts. Oh yeah, this guy was in the demo. I do remember him. And uh, yeah, Team Aqua Admin Matt. So we are definitely not moving away. So it looks like it's gonna be a double battle. I'm not sure which Pokemon I'd have in front of my party, but uh, let's actually see. It's gonna be a double battle with uh, Steven. And uh, she has a Sharpedo. Alright, goes for the swagger. Like, you could just go for the crunch and kill this Matang, but no, you choose to go for the swagger. 
and it turns into energy ball and the Sharpedo is dying. Oh no, it's Sludge Bomb. We just ate up, did not do anything. Um, I don't care about this meta tank, so I'm just gonna go for the serve. And uh, it does not do any damage to this thing. And this Matang is just hitting itself. That goes to the Mud Bomb. So I can just go... Let's actually see. I can stay in or I can just go into our uh, Minetric. As he goes for the Mud Bomb and this Matang lives on 5 HP, this Matang is really not doing anything. I'm just gonna go for the Discharge and take this thing out too. Oh, it went for the Bullet Punch. And wow, it killed. <laughs> Alright, so you could have gone for the Bullet Punch before, but no, you got confused. But uh, yeah, there is this battle and uh, it looks like now we can finally have uh, Latias or maybe Latios. Actually, Latias is exclusive to Sapphire, so we might be getting Latias. Alright, so he just heals up our Pokemon like that. Oh, really? Okay, so Latias just joins our team like that. Do I not have to prove myself, like, am I a worthy trainer or not? This is way too easy, and I'm gonna nickname my Latias, and uh, it's gonna be another anime reference, and this is what I like to call my Latias. So there is Urza, and uh, yeah, this is the nickname, and uh, it's even carrying Latiasite, wow. Actually, Mega Latias is much more useful than Mega Latios because uh, it has nice balanced stats and it's actually really bulky. So, pretty good for a playthrough. And uh, Steven gave us this Mega Bracelet, and now we can Mega Evolve our Pokemon. So, the Manectite, which we just found, it will be able to Mega Evolve our Manectric now. Alright, so we are heading back to that route on which I was uh, traveling. And there is Latios. Like, suddenly these Pokemon appear and uh, Latios just decides to join us. Like, it's not even 10 minutes since I've met this thing. But, uh, yeah, whatever. So, there is a. Uh, this Latio is gone and uh, now we have Latias in our team. I'm gonna keep Latias because it's actually one of my favorite Pokemon too. It's actually one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. And uh, we can just use Cut here. Actually, I really wanna see what nature it is. And uh, let's actually see. And uh, it's a docile nature. Which is a neutral nature, it's not too bad or too good, it does not increase anything or decrease anything, so I guess it's fine for a playthrough. And uh, what berries are these? Oh, there are citrus berries. These can be pretty useful. So we got six citrus berries, and uh, I'm gonna give Manicric the Manic Tight so that. We can evolve our Manectric where it is. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna put Manectric in front. Before I actually see Mega Latias, I wanna see Mega Manectric. I like Mega Manectric much more. And uh, yeah, I just wanna make sure that I have Experience Share turned off. Because uh, yeah, it is off. Because I wanna play without Experience Share. 
at least from now on because this game is really easy it's a joke and uh, oh I should have used repel oh it's an electric and uh, I'm gonna show this electric the the real power by going for the wall switch all right the first time we are using Mega Evolution in this game. And uh, pretty sure this Electric is gonna die to this Volt Switch. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna use a Repel now because I don't wanna like encounter 2 million Electrics in this place. So. I'm pretty sure I do have uh, max repels. Yeah, I have a lot of those. So, I'm use that. And I think we have to battle a lot of trainers here. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make this a grinding montage. And I'm just going to speed this thing up. So that uh, it becomes easier for us. And there is really no point in showing so many trainer battles. Because we do have to get to Weather Institute. So that's why I will be showing these uh, battles. But I will be speeding those up. And I'll be playing uh, some nice music. So I
Alright guys, so we are back and uh, looks like we have to take on Team Aqua in Weather Institute and I'm gonna enter and uh, hopefully we can uh, battle them and uh, this really looks different now. Um, what's in here? Okay. And uh, I do remember there used to be a PC. Uh, yep, there we go. And I can finally heal up my Pokemon and uh, if you guys didn't see, I was able to train uh, our Latias. Which was pretty good, and uh, I'm just gonna heal up all of my Pokemon. And uh, yeah. Alright, so there we go, and uh, now we can just go ahead and take on Team Aqua, and uh, we will be able to reach Fortress City if we do get them out of here. So this is the first guy and it actually took me a lot of time to get through here because there were so many trainers and uh, all of them just got paralysis on my Latias. So there is this Mightyena and the only move which you can use is Dragon Breath. All of their moves are pretty much useless and uh, I don't even have any good TM so 
We have to go with this. And it lives. It goes for the snarl. But uh, that is not going to save you. Alright, so the Mighty Anna goes down. And uh, his next Pokemon is Gold Bat. So I'm going to go into... Uh, let's see, I'm going to go into Matang. Alright, so that was our first battle, and uh, there's this guy. Can we battle him? Do we have to battle him? Yep, it does look like that. I really wish I got uh, the TM for Psychic or Psyshock. That would be really useful. And uh, he lit. Oh my god, don't do this. Don't go for the minimize just when you're gonna die. And of course, this is so annoying. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is so stupid. Uh. And uh, finally, we do hit, so this freaking Grimer is gonna go down was really annoying but uh, yeah so this was the second grunt and it looks like we can go to the uh, next floor all right so we have to battle this guy so that we can reach admin. So I'm not sure if you guys do remember, but uh, just a week before Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire release, there were some leaks about Cast Form, and uh, they all turned out to be fake. I actually wanted Cast Form to get to Mega Evolution; it would be really cool. And uh, he's about to send out Mighty Yena, so I think uh, I'm gonna stay in. And. Uh, just go for the dragon breath. Alright, so we do dodge the swagger, which is pretty good. And uh, he's gonna go down. Alright, so how many more? Only uh, looks, looks like two more, or I can actually skip this. But, I'm gonna battle her. Just so that I can get some more experience on uh, Latias. And she has Gold Bat. Yeah, this is why I really wished I had Psy Shock on this Latias. But, time for Mega Evolution and uh, this Dragon Breath is gonna take this thing out. Like, uh, why do they have to give us a Mega Latias or Latios like just after 5th Gym? It just makes things so much easier because these two Pokemon are really strong. They are not weak at all. And uh, they also give us the Mega Stone which makes them much better and much more powerful. So I'm not sure why they are making these games so easy. Like X and Y was really easy too. And uh, 
This game is also pretty easy with experience share and uh, they are giving us all these uh, Pokemon like Shiny Beldum and Latias, Latios and uh, we have to battle her. Is this going to be a double battle? No, this is going to be a single battle I think. And uh, she only has Sharpedo, okay. Yeah, but still, this this Sharpedo is probably gonna go for some garbage move like Swagger or something. It's not like it's gonna go for Crunch. And Sharpedo now actually gets Poison Fang as a, an egg move, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Mega Sharpedo does have a strong jaw as its ability, so that's definitely useful. And it does go for the swagger and scary face. Like, come on, what are you doing? And uh, let's see if we can break through this confusion. Yep, we do. And uh, that's a dead Sharpedo. Alright, so level 35. And uh, that was the Team Aqua Admin Shelly. And finally we can go to Fortree City and uh, get the Mega Zone for Sceptile and also battle with Nona. So there she goes and she's going to Mount Pyre. Alright, so that's the place where we get the orbs for uh, Groudon and Kyogre. But uh, they're gone now. And uh, looks like these people are definitely upset. But all this text, oh my god, I know that Kyogre has uh, a primal form and uh, it does make it rain, but I don't know why they have to tell us that. And let's actually talk to him because uh, he can give us cast form, but I do not have any free space in my uh, party, so I have to deposit a Pokemon. Let's actually talk to him. He might give us some TM. Nope, he does not. And wow, it just heals up our Pokemon. So I basically deposited our Pokemon and PC for no reason when I came here. But uh, I'm gonna uh, deposit this egg which I have been carrying. Is it gonna hatch or not? Like, it's been a while. Oh, it's not even close to hatching. Wow. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, receive our cast form. And maybe it will be holding the Mega Stone. No, I'm just kidding. It does not have uh, Mega Evolution. But uh, yeah, there we go. The cast form is here. It's such a bad Pokemon. I don't want to even nickname this thing. And uh, let's actually see if this thing, uh... oh, it does have Mystic Water, I think. Yep. And uh, let's see what nature it is. It just lacks nature. Wow. Complete trash. So I'm going to keep this cast form in the PC forever. And uh, organize boxes option is actually right at the first position as uh, you open the PC which is pretty cool and I always click this uh, withdraw Pokemon because uh, in X and Y the organized boxes used to be there but now it's much more convenient I'm actually gonna get some uh, lemonades because I don't have any and uh, I don't want fresh water I want lemonade I'm actually gonna take three of those. Yep, the last one. And uh, so that was the Weather Institute. It was actually pretty easy. And uh, if you guys actually didn't uh, see carefully in the grinding montage, I was able to get uh, TM99 uh, Dazzling Gleam from uh, a fairy tale girl uh, near the uh, near the berry field. 
Wow, I cannot speak. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for uh, here. And uh, we can actually go down here. There's nothing. Um, I'm actually gonna uh, use a repel and we might find a TM, like a useful one for once. Because it does look like that to me. So I'm gonna surf here and see if there's any item or not. Okay, um, is there any item? Is there anything here? Oh, an ultra ball. Are you serious? There should be a TM somewhere here because uh, it does look like a perfect place to place a TM in a game, so I'm not sure. Oh, so we can uh, build a secret base here. So I don't think there is any TM around here, so I'm just gonna leave this place. And uh, isn't this area the same one where you could find uh, Phoebus and uh, yeah, you can find Phoebus here. I'm not sure uh, what is the rarity of Phoebus, but uh, for some reason, it's a really rare Pokemon in uh, third gen. Not sure about this gen, but uh, there is May. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm still gonna beat you. I'm not even gonna make of all my Latias. That's how I'm gonna do this battle. She has a Wilmer. I really wish I had my Manicric in front now. Because uh, this Wilmer is pretty annoying. It does have that move which can trap us. So I'm gonna go into Manicric. Why are you going for mist? I'm gonna go for the volt switch and kill this thing real quick. And gonna go back into Latias as uh, our next Pokemon is Combuskin. I'm definitely gonna stay in. There isn't anything which he can use, and it's not even a Blaziken, come on. How can you talk smack like that, when you don't even have Blaziken? And that was a crit, wow. This is a flame charge. There was absolutely no damage in the rain. And we still outspeed you. So that's a dead Combuskin. And, uh... It looks like her last Pokemon is gonna be Shroomish, so uh, I'm gonna stay in with Latias and just go for the Dragon Breath. Pretty sure it's gonna be enough to take this thing out. No, it lives. Looks like the Poison Powder. And uh, that is the Battle versus May. Not sure, uh, is, is this our fourth battle versus May or uh, the third one? Not really too sure, but uh, oh, so she gives us HM02 fly, and we can only use this after getting the gym badge from Winona. So we'll have to wait before we can fly on uh, our uh, awesome Latias. And I think I'm gonna end this episode here, so if you guys enjoyed then please make sure to leave a like and in the next episode we're gonna go to Fortree City and we're gonna battle with Nona and get our 6th uh, gym badge, yep, 6th gym badge. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode, thanks for watching.